Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a good week so far. Do you have a good attitude? I have a good attitude because Amy, my BFF that I talked about yesterday, um, has set me straight. I think I was talking about this yesterday and I realized, you know, attitude can make such a difference in everything we do, right? You know, you've got to have the right focus and decide what you want to do, but you know, so many people ask me, you know, how do you stay motivated? You've got to motivate yourself. And sometimes you have to like deal with that inner demon that wants to argue with you or wants to tell you that, you know, you're never going to make it, you're never going to do it. And when I had that discussion with Amy yesterday, I realized I was getting so down on myself. Like I, t I find myself standing here and when I'm talking to you guys or whatever, why is this top crooked? Um, when I'm talking to you guys, I'm so aware of where I want to lose my fat, which is like right here on my hips. And I keep like, literally, I'm like pinching it all day, going, it's still there, it's still there. And I'm obsessing over, you know, the areas that I haven't yet achieved my goals in, right? Mr. Flow, Mr. Flow, how's it going? I always get yelled at for the, the way I'm doing it or not doing it. Golly, I've got to go tanning. Um, but anyway, like I keep, focusing on this, you know, the areas that I still have yet to fix or or to get where I want them to be instead of focusing on like, wow, look at everything I've done already. And because I've done this, I'm going to keep going forward and I am going to achieve success. That, that's all there is to it. I don't doubt my ability to achieve success. Look at all the things that I've done. You know, I decided I'm going to give up soda. I wasn't planning on it. I've been joking with you guys about giving up soda ever since I started it again a year ago. And I did it and I've given it up flawlessly, okay? I'm drinking water all the time, that's awesome. Um, and I was so scared of running because I had not been able to do running before. And now, hello, not only am I running, but I'm also, like, I've taken that next step where I said, when I started running, I told you guys, like, I'm not gonna do marathons, I don't wanna set myself up for failure. Now I'm doing it, and I don't even have any doubt because I'm doing it the right way. I'm, I'm reaching out to all of you guys. I have help, I have experts that have been running for a while. Amy's only been running since, uh, since, almost in August, since April, but she's already done her first half marathon. She's kicking butt. Um, I'm drinking and eating healthier stuff. You know, I'm doing the whole chlorophyll. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm gonna try it today. The extra boost juice. So I've got red and green stuff that I'm drinking. Fun, great red and green stuff. Um, and, and I'm, I'm doing things that I never thought I would do before. And I'm, remember when I first started running? So I freaked out about, oh my God, am I cramping and I haven't been able to do it before? Guess what? Like I'm dealing with it. I'm doing things that I've never thought I would do before. And I'm bouncing back from a year of like insanity, insane medical conditions, insane, you know, like health issues. And I am bouncing back. And the first half of this year, I kicked butt. I accomplished a lot. I've been tracking stuff. Um, I've been consistent. I've been continually working on getting better. And when I was talking about all this with Amy and this whole attitude adjustment that I knew I needed to do, this, um, I remember reading, I think it was about Jackie Warner, um, the trainer, you know, the celebrity trainer. And she was talking about when she brings clients on and they're talking about losing weight. They're like, what diet you want to put me on? She says, I don't put people on a diet. What I do is I'll focus each week on having them add something. Like this week, I want you to add drinking, you know, a container of, of water every day, or maybe it's two. And that's it. You know, do, do everything else fine. Do everything else like you always do. Just add that. And then the next week you do that and you add two servings of fruit a day, and then you add three servings of vegetables a day, and then you add this, and then you add 30 minutes of, of exercise. And that's kind of what Squeak was talking about when we did her on the Wednesday Woot Factor, right? Which is just keep adding something every week. I think so many of us, obviously myself included, you know, we get on this idea of like, I wanna fix myself, and we have to go on a program. You know, it's gotta be a 90 day this, a 12 week this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Sorry, you guys, you know, with my bra straps, I just get some of my last nerve. There's nothing wrong with doing that, with chunking up your, your year into, you know, I'm all about that. But at the same, in the same way, one of the things I told you I'm getting away from is feeling like I have to only do what's on this sheet of paper. I can only eat these three meals a day. I have to do it like this because that's the only way that I'm going to get fit and reach my goals. That's not true. We can eat what we want and be sensible. Um, and, and, you know, some people for that, for, for some people, excuse me, Sensible might mean a vegetarian diet. For some of us, it might mean a body for life kind of a diet. For some of us, it might just mean eat to your full. You know, do whatever it is that makes sense to you, that sounds right to you, that you can live with. And then focus on adding more stuff as opposed to what I've been doing, 
in, in the area that I need to work on, which is I was focusing only on what I hadn't done yet. I'm putting all this energy and all this time obsessing over what I haven't done yet instead of putting all of my energy and my focus on looking forward and what I'm gonna do. And instead of saying, you know, going into my bathroom mirror and saying, okay, I know I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna like what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna walk into that restroom and say, I know that I'm gonna look better than I did yesterday. And I'm gonna look for what looks better than I did yesterday. And focus on where you wanna put your energy. That's the way Amy kept saying it to me. She goes, why do you wanna put your energy on, why is this sleeve really bothering me today? Why do you wanna put your energy on, um, you know, everything that is inevitably gonna be behind you? You know, focus forward. Stop focusing on the rear of your mirror. Stop focusing on only the things you haven't done yet. Focus on everything you have done. Focus on what you've accomplished already and focus on what you want to accomplish. That's where you put your energy in your direction. Not on, you know, the spilled milk that's on the floor. Clean up the spilled milk and move on, right? That's probably not the best analogy, but I just threw it out there because that's what came out. So that's all I gotta say. But back to the salad thing. Let me tell you something. I don't like vinaigrette. I don't like vinaigrette. I used to like blue cheese dressing. It's obviously not the best blue, you know, dressing for those of us. Um, and this is one area that I'm asking for help on salads because the salad, the only salad I can make at home that I like the taste of is using this fat-free ranch dressing. And I really want to get away from this fake chemical-y stuff. It's not the end of the day, right? But I just know that I'd rather have a salad with all real vegetables, I almost said fruits and vegetables, vegetables, tuna or chicken or, you know, turkey and, and real stuff and then some real salad dressing. I don't need a ton. In fact, I think that was the error that I made here with this salad is I probably put a couple tablespoons of this fat-free balsamic. I'm sure it tastes good, but to me, I just feel like it makes all of the ingredients taste like balsamic vinegar, which tastes like vinegar. Like I wasn't enjoying my salad. I was like, well, I better eat this because I don't want to waste it. So I want you guys to give me, I'm asking you guys to give me, I don't want to sound mean. Um, give me your ideas on salads at home. I don't, why am I such a moron when it comes to making salads? Like I look at your blogs and that's where I get my ideas. Um, but I look at your blogs, I'm like, wow, it looks like an amazing salad. If I go to California Pizza Kitchen, they have a salad, Thai chicken salad, love it. And I wanna just have them, I just wanna have somebody, a chef in my house. Is that too much to ask for? Somebody that can just make me like restaurant style salads or show me. I freaking hate my neighbors, I swear to God. They have a child down there that has a voice that can carry across all the way out to San Francisco. I can tell you this, and I live in Chicago, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys go. I got a kickball workout tonight. Um, I'm doing, what am I doing? <sighs> I don't think we're running today because running was yesterday. So um, we are doing, um, my gosh, I've got to go look because I've actually written out my, my uh, workouts for the whole week. <laughs> so running was yesterday, so today's gonna be cardio and weights. I think I'm doing kickboxing and um, back and biceps or maybe um, shoulders. You know I love shoulders. I'm doing shoulders twice a week. So, and anyway, this weekend, is Jenny Lynn two more days so I will see you guys tomorrow peace out have a great one and uh, clearly one of the things I need to do today is go tanning damn